My name is Marshall. This is my wife, Jen. I've read Game of Thrones. Jen hasn't. We watch the show for the Wall Street Journal. Not a bad gig. Hello, everybody. Uh, Game of Thrones, Season 3, Episode 4. Uh, this is a big one because in the last five minutes of this episode, my wife's face was like, just I the was last five, ask, just, just like for the last five minutes because you were shocked. You had this amazing I was just impression waiting. I knew of it was going to come to, I knew this was going to happen this episode waiting. and I was really excited. So what did you think? I, well, obviously I was breathless. You were breathless. The, first, the last five minutes were breathtaking. Yeah. I... I thought that this episode was basically not just the most action-packed of the season, one of the most action-packed of the oh, series. Absolutely. And to have it come after three episodes of kind of slow progression, yeah. character development, and all of that, to then have this just kind of constant, whether it's Jamie Lannister getting his face in the mud, mm -hmm. and then culminating in Daenerys just kind totally... Of Owning it, owning the episode, owning exactly. the series, everything. I mean, she just yeah. was amazing. Well, she, you know, I think we used to, I think I used to complain about her last season where it's always like Daenerys is following men through the desert, just kind of mm -hmm. doing what she's told. And this felt like the most proactive thing that she's done. And she is, she proved to be as ruthless as anyone. I would say it was the most proactive thing that any of the characters that's, have that's done. Fair. And that's And I totally think fair. that that's what's interesting. Well, except is maybe that Tyrion and the Battle of Blackwater with the, the wildfire and but all that, that stuff. But that brings us to another point in yeah. that Tyrion has come taken a back seat this season. Well, I think he's taken a back seat in his family. He's taken a back seat at court. You know, <laughs> I think if, if season two was about Tyrion getting a taste of power, getting a taste of um, respect, getting some, a taste of some manner of authority, mm -hmm. all of that has just been stripped away. And so, in many ways, his character in the land of Westeros and within the series has been kind of relegated. He doesn't know what he's supposed to be doing with himself, uh, which is, makes that conversation about revenge really interesting because he's yes. hunting for something to do and he's focusing on Cersei. And I respect that. I really do. But I also really miss him. Yeah. And as much as I love these strong women and I love mm -hmm. these kind of moments of just manipulation and kind of undermining and just... Just women proving themselves mm -hmm. to be beyond their s place, mm -hmm. their relegated place in life. Mm -hmm. I miss Tyrion. Yeah. Well, Tyrion's kind of like, he's like a sorbet. He's like the palate cleanser. <laughs> but I also miss Jon Snow. Yeah. And I know this, I mean, I just, I, I loved, I loved where this episode yeah. ended. I loved, I hope that now they turn yeah. the focus a little onto the other characters yeah. that we've been kind of missing. I think like Tyrion, Tyr what I mean he's a palate cleanser, that with, with all the heavy medieval bombast that hmm. that just that the show is shrouded in Tyrion is is the guy that secretly is kind of looking at everybody and is saying to himself you know everyone's behavior is ridiculous right you know yeah. that no one is getting what they want everyone is insane except me and I, that and that's the viewer because if you watch all these people that this is all insane and Tyrion is 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 your surrogate in that way I think now as a non-reader of the books yeah. do you think that has to do with the actor or the character oh I think it's it, it transcends I think it's in okay. both on the page he's the one like if you don't have a Tyrion chapter for a while you miss it because really? it, it's a breath of fresh air you're like so all right funny. someone who who's like has a has a is smart and someone who's funny and someone who thinks that all of this you know this feudalistic nonsense yeah. is is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sort of as almost like a surrogate for the viewer. Yeah, he's it's insane. Yeah. Um, okay, that was the episode. Please tell us <laughs> what you think. Um, weigh in in the comments. Yeah. And if if I'm gonna try something, I'm really I'm gonna try to get on Twitter and be better about Twitter. I go in fits and starts like for a couple months. Um, so this is my Twitter handle below. Follow me on Twitter if you like. I can't promise any sort of clever, witty. You are Anything. always clever. I'm not, way. though. I'm really not. <laughs> you are. It'll probably just be links to Star Wars stuff. <laughs> which but is if you, clever and witty enough. Which, but clever Star Wars things by other people. We've been loving your comments. Yes. Just loving them. It's so been really awesome. So fascinating. You guys, I, it's so cool to read the really long form stuff that you guys are writing. It's really great. All right. So see you guys next week. Thank you so much. Um, I love you, sweetheart. I love you. All right. All right. Bye, guys.